Hey Taurus, I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you so much love and light and just want to say thank you for being back here with me for another love reading for December. Happy holidays, you guys. If you are cross-watching, welcome. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, and if you guys are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on. My name is Lynn. This is Passionate Heart Tarot. Let's jump right in, Taurus, and see what is coming your way in December for your love life. All right, before I begin, just want to take a moment to light the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right, Taurus, let's see what is coming in for your love life. So there's Aquarius's energy coming through. You guys might have an Aquarius on your mind. Maybe you're cross watching. Maybe you have that energy moon or rising. Or maybe there's something that's like someone who is an Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising coming your way because that energy is here. Overall, I see you guys being in this place of getting clarity, finding balance, and realizing that you are on the right track. Because there's a big turnaround in the energy where someone is very hesitant to take a chance to open up their heart. Maybe maybe you guys are just opposites and one is so free spirited and the other one is like, OK, we should do this. We should follow this plan. I see where there's like a preciseness in this person's energy. But they are going to open up. I wonder if some, and I just know, I just know they are because there's something very beautiful coming your way and the overall energy speaks to the balance that this person needs to find. Whoever it is that just feels guarded, that could be your energy, Taurus, or it could be the person that you are dealing with trying to figure them out. There's so much beauty that someone here watching has. I see it. And I know that's what they see within you, looking at you and feeling like there's nothing that they would change because everything, everything that you do, everything that you say, it's just, um, they just look at you as perfect in a lot of ways. I know that you may not feel like you're perfect, but in this person's eyes, that, that is how they feel. And I know that like one of you is just ready to go all in, just ready to open up your heart. One of you is more ready than the other one. That is what I will say. So you might be the one who's holding back now, Taurus, and someone is trying to figure you out. So it's important for you to know that they look at you like a major blessing in their life. And they don't want anyone else but you because there is no one that can compare to you. You don't have any competition. They feel like this is right. This is balanced. I'm on the right track. And I, whoever is questioning things and does feel hesitant about taking a chance, I see that they're going to open up their heart. It's really important for you to know that this is, it's not easy for them because of how much they've been hurt. And this is not something to take lightly. I, I know where they feel. Maybe in a relationship that they were in, it hurt them so deeply that they lost a part of themselves. They feel like it was something that was, they went through something very traumatic. So if you're wondering why this person is not taking a chance, it's not because they look at you and, and feel like, oh, well, there's something missing within you. No, they feel like they're still building themselves up, that they need to let go and have these old wounds close. But the beautiful thing about the reading, Taurus, is that you guys are going to find balance. 
things are gonna you're gonna see that everything levels out so if you feel like it's there's been a lot of unknown or maybe things have been up and down hot and cold i see something steady coming to you something steady um but also what you've been wishing for because i just feel like it's important for someone to see things from the other one's perspective especially how they look at love as something that is such a risk they feel like they don't know what will happen so i know that one of you here is just in this energy of like trying to show the other one that they are safe trying to show the other one what they mean to them it's not that it's not getting through it is getting through but it is also important to understand like this is very heavy energy because they feel like they've been hurt and it's something that they're still working on putting past them. Even if, I wonder if they make that connection, if they tell you this, if they've opened up to you about it, they might start to. That's what I can see, like the energy of releasing, the energy of letting the other one in. But this is really why they hold back. Please don't think that it's because of... um something that you should be doing better whoever that's for who feels like they're the one that their person is holding back they look at you as someone who's perfect perfect for them they wouldn't change anything about you that's very important i want to look deeper into this three of swords just to help someone understand the other one a little bit better Especially if they don't open up and say these things to you. Because I know where it's a pain that they might try to bury deeply and not reveal it. I can see for some of them, it's this energy of maybe someone that left them, walked away from them, and had them on a very a very difficult cycle of them being in and out of their life. And maybe they just have a fear that that's going to happen to them again. This person, it's important for you to know, no matter what they show you, their heart is super vulnerable. Even if they don't show it, even if they like try to protect themselves, that is all a defense mechanism it's important for you to know though that I see them, I see you guys finding balance. It could even be, um, you know, having all of this information, something that helps you look at the situation differently. Especially if you've been putting pressure on them and not really realizing that you are because that's kind of like the pressure that you put on yourself to know where things are going. Because I know where, where someone here just wants direction. And I'm reading it like this, Taurus, because that could be your energy or it could be your person's energy. It depends on what's going on with you. And I do wonder which side are you on? Are you the one who is still healing or are you the one that wants someone whose heart is broken to like to help mend it and to come to you? Because that is the energy that's here. For those of you that um, feel like this person has become very, very distant with you. It's important for you to know, I see them coming back, coming back into your life because they're going to open. They're going to open up. They're going to reveal things to you that they haven't before. I just feel like they're still making the connection between their behavior and what happened to them in the past. You know, we may think that everyone can put their feelings into perspective and just understand. I, I can see where they have, it's like these insecurities. Needing to know that the offer that's coming to them is really gonna be something that's safe to accept. So if this person has told you something cliche, like, look, it's not you, it's me, please believe them when they say that. Because it, I just see the insecurities. I see the way that their heart has been broken. I see the way that uh, they struggle to open up and they struggle to trust. So that's something that's very real. So then it puts you in a position where you can decide what you want to do. 
Do you want to keep investing in this person, hoping that they're going to come to you? That's a question to ask yourself. And because I can see that they are going to, but you also have to think about what you you know what you go through in the meantime trying to get this person to take a chance with their heart. Pisces energy is coming through. You guys might have Pisces moon or rising. Maybe you have a Pisces on your mind. Maybe you guys are Pisces cross watchers. It's just like this energy. Um, this is exactly everything that spirit is telling me about the hesitancy with taking a chance and then finally letting you in. The thing about it, though, is I know because I think about it from both perspectives, especially how it feels to you, the one who's waiting. It's going to require patience with this person. It is. It's not that they're stringing you along. They're just so stuck. They're so stuck in the past. Cancer's energy is also coming through. They're so stuck and they have so much healing that they need to do. And if you're in a place where you feel like um, I'm healthy emotionally, um, spiritually, mentally, and and I want that same thing, that's not what you have here. Because this person, they are still working through and healing, working on how to open up, working on being honest with themselves, working on their insecurities. So it's up to you to decide if you, how, like how much patience can you have here? Because there's, there's no getting around this person needing more time the way that one is more ready than the other one. But it's not due to anything missing. It's missing within themselves. Like, do you see where, do you see those swords in that person's heart? And even if those swords fall away, there's going to be a scar that's there. So it just represents what they've lost within themselves that they need to work on building back up. That is the truth about it. That is really the truth about it. So it's, um because I just see the Six of Pentacles coming through. Leo's energy is also coming through. Six of Pentacles in reverse is, is about the way that things feel... Um, shaky they feel hot and cold you are going to find balance with this person that's what i want you to know there could even be things that this reading can help you put into perspective especially if you've been way too hard on yourself and asking yourself all of these questions about why hasn't it moved forward why why aren't they opening up to me the way that i want it's very important for you to put things into perspective and, and see what's really going on in this person's energy, especially if they don't tell you these things, especially if they don't know how to tell you these things or they haven't made that kind of connection about what makes them close off. Because the energy of the Ten of Swords is coming through around the star. So that's about looking at yourself and, and knowing for sure how beautiful you are from the inside out. And there could be things that you need to forgive yourself when it comes to this. You know, if, if you've been too hard on yourself to forgive yourself when it comes to this connection and also to kind of put yourself in their shoes. I know that that's not the easiest thing to do, but I also know it's just so important. Just know that they are going to open up, but it is something that's going to take time. So that's when you have the freedom and you have the choice to decide if you want to remain on this journey with them. And because it's going to require patience, there's no getting around it. Or if you want to go down another path, it all depends on what you want, what's best for you and what this person means to you. And I know that that's not the easiest thing to hear, but if you are looking for a sign about what's going to come of it, and if they are ever going to let you in, they are going to let you in. But do you see where 
and then seeing the Knight of Pentacles come in reverse, Queen of Cups is coming in reverse. That's all about opening up their heart and things moving along faster. They are going to, but I know when things are so intense and the energy is so heightened, it can feel like it's taking so long. So that's why I want to tell you that so you can kind of ground your energy, get a balance between your head and your heart. And you can put yourself in a different mindset, look at things from a different perspective, rather than feeling like, um, even if you question if you're doing something wrong, you're not doing anything wrong. And even if you don't know why they don't open up, these are the reasons why and why they're so hesitant. All right, Taurus, so that is what I can see. And it does make me wonder, are you the one who is working on opening up or do you want your person to open up to you? It's important that you know how they look at you. Someone, they feel like you are incredibly special. So that is a strong message from spirit to let you know that there is nothing that you're doing wrong. There's nothing that you need to change about yourself or your behavior. Only when it comes to yourself, if you're being hard on yourself, you have to forgive. You have to forgive and be, and be kinder to yourself. That's very important. Cause I know where there's like so many emotions that you'll go through in a connection like this because this person is still hurting so much. This is not something. I want you to realize how serious that energy is, Taurus, about the way that they feel opening up their heart just puts them in such a vulnerable place. They will do it, but it is going to require patience on their partners. And okay, Taurus, so that is what I can see coming through for you guys in December. Just know that I send you so much love and light, and I truly do wish you all the best when it comes to the connection with this person. I wonder what you guys will decide to do now that you just have a, have a better outlook of what goes on with them. All right, Taurus, thank you guys for everything. I send you so much love and light. Happy holidays. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a comment, and I will talk to you guys in a few days.